Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and variations thereupon. It's Citizen Seven, and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. Uh, while I was off camera, I discovered something new that I'm sure many of you uh, viewing may already know about, and that is diseases. See, diseases are now listed down here. They no longer count as quirks. They are listed down here, and that's where rabies is. You may remember an episode ago, I'm like, I'm sure someone got rabies. Where's the rabies? Here's the rabies. It's down here underneath resistances. So, um, it turned out that everyone who had diseases uh, was already undergoing treatment for su for stress or for something. Um, Morpheus has tapeworm. Uh, except for H Hodens. This, we have discovered this is a C. Uh, who had vertigo. So I've I've put her in for treatment for vertigo, so she won't be going out with us this week. Uh, everyone else uh, in treatment uh, for Tipler, but with lethargy and rabies. And uh, these diseases need to. I need to. And this guy though, uh, our houndmaster has the black plague, and uh, and uh, ennui. I he, he can deal with ennui, but the black plague. That's that's huge. He needs to have that treated before he can go out again. Right now he's distressing because he's so paranoid. Um, so we'll we'll be dealing with that. We'll be dealing with that soon. I'd really like to get. I really need to upgrade this so that I can deal with more than one person at a time. And to upgrade the sanitarium, we we need shields and we need busts. So. I think maybe that should be our focus. <coughs> this episode is um, is to get uh, shields and busts, so we can get both of those in the ruins. So we could go back to the ruins. Uh, we're 50, but though we are doing fairly well in the wheel, we have 50% progress to the boss. On the other hand. Let's see, this gives us a Crusader Knight's Crest. Ooh, ups his HP and heal skills. So, and it's short. I think we're gonna go, we're gonna take this, we're gonna go to the ruins. Uh, we're gonna take Bread Eater, our, our new fellow here. Um, Tabase. Or, does she do better in the front or the, it doesn't really matter. She's got Wicked Hack, Yop, if it bleeds, and Breakthrough. So, so we can stand in the second position and put uh, this guy in the first position. Um, though if we put him in the second position, he can Holy Lance on turn one and move up, though. Eh, yeah, let's try that. Put him in the second position, he can Holy Lance on turn one, just because it'll be different. Uh, we're going to take our Occultist, put him in the back, and I think we're going to take... Anything but that. You know what? <laughs> you keep whining, I'll take you. Uh, we're going to the ruins, so let's let's decide between her, peek to the face, flashing daggers, thrown dagger, uh, poison darts, which is blight, or Gordon. I do like Gordon. Uh... We're going to be dealing mostly with skeletons, so we won't have a lot of bleeding effects. Meaning... If it bleeds, it's going to be basically useless for us. So let's take... Let's... Um, let's go back. And let's get Adrenaline Rush instead. We'll get, uh, since we'll get a, a boost instead of this bleed skill, which will be much less useful for us. And hopefully our, our quest is still there. Yes, it is. All right. She's going to take the first position. We're going to throw our Crusader in the second position. We'll take her and we'll take him as our healer dark souls knight i really like how it generates a party name when you throw these people together it's very cool 
So we're going to do a, a ruins run. Right here it is a short run. So 100% of rune battles. We're going to take eight torches. I think we learned our lesson. Um, we'll take 10 food. One shovel. Eight torches. It's the ruins. We're going to take a holy water as well because I think in the ruins we often uh, encounter things that might need to be uh, purified with this holy water. So let's uh, let's embark. We've been we've been bleeding heroes at about uh, one one uh, one adventurer per run lately. So hopefully. Hopefully we can make this run a turn for the better. The fiends must be driven back. And what better place to begin than the seat of our noble line? All right, so we're going to go rampage through the basement. This is a really terrible map. Hopefully we'll get a scout when we get here. And we won't have to go up or down if we don't have We won't have to go up here if we don't have to. But it is 100% room battles, so we don't know. First choice is made for us, though. Let's move. Oh, check it out. I like it. Alchemy table. An accident occurs during the experiment. You got blighted. And we didn't... Oh, we're going to take six damage because we did not bring blight healing. Not thinking that we would have to deal with blight in our ruins. But we do have skeletons. We know how to deal with them. Flashing daggers, I think. A good opener. You curse somebody. Vulnerability hacks. Or we'll pull the arbalist up to the front row. <laughs> Everything is dark and terrible. Now, you will use your wicked hack and finish him off. As the fiend falls. A faint hope blossoms. Actually, see, everything is going well here. Tonight. Holy Lance. Right. We can hit this guy. Press this advantage. Kill him Give them no quarter. Attack. So now we just have this one stupid guy left. We're going to use a weakening curse on him. He's uh, damage is down. Now we hack him. Oh, we missed... Things were going things were going so wonderfully. Let's throw a dagger. <laughs> you gonna dodge that? Use your smite extra damage against unholy. Come on, you crusader. You're useless. Vulnerability hex. Reduces his damage. This time, hack. Is he dead yet? No, he isn't. It's a good thing we've reduced his damage. He's still doing significant damage. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Well, we started out strong there and then a sort of stumbled, victory. but we... Hey, look, we got a victory away. nonetheless. You can now move back here, and we'll do that again. The crate is empty. We're gonna have to use some healing on her. Two fellows with goblets. We can blight them. So let's blight them. Hey, hey. He took the he took the damage. Tempting goblet on the front row. This does increase our stress, but we're going to use Breakthrough, even though it does reduce our damage and our dodge for a little bit. It'll it'll put some some hurt on these guys. Hey, that was, that was significant. 
Death waits for the slightest lapse in concentration. I don't like this. I don't like how how down our Hellion is, so we are going to try and heal her. Maximum healing! 10 points. And resist the bleed. That went as good as it could possibly have gone. And we resisted several things. We resisted being moved. We resisted a disease. We're just resisting all over the place. Now, um, let's kill this one in the back. No, because he has the blight. Let's kill this one. So he will die next turn. We don't have to focus on him. He does have the blight and... Yeah, it's, on the one hand, it's a little dangerous to ignore an enemy. On the other hand, we could kill this one. Or we could put the blight on the bone defender. Let's try to put the blight on the bone defender. Leaves us with everyone else left to go. Let's use pick to the face and kill the bone soldier before he can move. Now we'll try to do a little more healing. Only two points. You did resist the bleed though. It's wonderful. And we'll give a uh, we'll give a wicked hack to this defender. Only five damage, but five damage, I mean, takes us in the right direction. Smite. Come on. You should have been able to do better than that. Your whole thing is killing skeletons. She's taking a lot of damage. Her a damage victory. is done, so. Perhaps a turning point. Perhaps. All right, you can heal her more than two points this turn. Ten points! And we resisted the bleed once again. Very good. Pick to the face. Left him on one point. I don't like that. Get the hack in. There we go. Overkill. This round is taking care of. victories mount. And we've got some medicine orbs. So too orbs. will resistance. Got some medicine orbs. So I guess with no scout, we do have to go this way just to find out. Fight more skeletons in the hall. Everyone is scrambled. Everything is terrible. Mostly the problem is we just need to get him to the back and we need to get our Hellion forward. She can move forward on her turn, so we're going to open with flashing daggers. Timber goblet. What are we doing? That's a good question. Stress is getting high. That's what we're doing. Can you move back? Okay, he could move back too. Or not. I'm not sure it's necessary for this fight, because he's going to move up on his turn automatically, which will put him in the second slot. And then we can have him move back too into the back position. But that'll put her in the second slot and her in the third slot. Still better than nothing. If we have her move up on her turn, we'll see how that goes. So I'm going to use a curse. A vulnerability hex or a weakening curse. Let's use the weakening curse. Who has not gone yet? We'll put it on the full health guy. <laughs> and that was weakened. Alright. So we can use breakthrough from here and hit everyone. We'll take another debuff, but we can hit everyone from the back row. Let's do that instead of moving forward one. There, see? Check it out. Everything is going everything is going wonderfully. Now, Holy Lance. A critical blow. for 21 points. There. Battle this sorted. expedition at least promises success. These. So that's that's good news. You can move up. You can move back. There we go. How's it going? Stick your head in that. See what you find. Stashed loot. Two more deeds. I'm liking the deeds. And here we've got a bag. Is that the sparkle of coin? Yeah. Yeah, it is. It was coin. And more holy water. I didn't need to buy holy water. Yeah, I really wish that you could, you know, it would make it easier if you could, when you found these things. Oh, right. Torches. You could actually hang on to them for next expedition, but nope. Oh, 
look, we walked all this way for Jack Rippities. Let's go back. And we're now we're gonna have to fight another hallway fight. Probably those skeletons, they're alive again. Oh, even better, an artist. <laughs> hate these artists. Alright, we will do our flashing dagger. A got a critical hit. strike. I like that. Bump in the night. And and he missed. So now we're gonna use Demon's Pull. Another critical hit. Things are going well. Get him uh, yeah, that thing. What he said. Now we're gonna use Yop, which will wait, are we gonna use Yop on the first two guys? No, we're gonna use breakthrough and try and kill everyone in one blow. Executed with impunity. <laughs> I love Hellions. Have I mentioned this? They are my favorite class. Remind I mean, yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Aside from the fact that they just they look amazing, they're these badass girls with these giant pole axes. They do things like that. You kill three skeletons in one blow. Three in one blow. We're gonna get a reputation. Let's, let's, why don't you look at that? An altar dedicated to unholy abominations. Perhaps great power lies within. We have so much holy water. Let's use holy water on it. Yeah, we purified it. Uh, enlightened quirk removed. Hey, so we, we removed a quirk. That was great. That's the sort of thing that we like to see. I do apologize for chewing on that chip so loudly. Eat for food, regain 5% health. All right, hunger. Everyone regains one. Come get a torch. A torch and 500 gold. Very nice. Let's light that torch that we just acquired. Keep it dim. Forward. No, not Ambushed forward. by foul invention. I mean, if somebody had to take a little damage, I guess it could be the occultist. His stress is the lowest currently, so that's all right. Are we, we're not camping in this one. This is a short one. I'd really like a scout here. We didn't get a scout, so we do have to go up and check this one because we have to do every room battle. So that is, that is a little bit of a pain in the butt because we're gonna have to go up and then we're gonna have to come back again. We could get a secondary fight. Treasure ahead, he'd wager. It is getting dark. Perfect for an ambush, yeah, against us. So let's, let's light it up. Let's light it up, Radiant. Hey, we dodged that trap. That's what I like to see. Time to move. Is that the sparkle of coin? You know what? It probably is. What'd you find? Hey, it was the sparkle of coin. So, uh... Gotta love it. <laughs> what did I tell you? The room is empty. Go back. Wander around. This game, I really do, I really do highly recommend playing Darkest Dungeon. It just, it has this atmosphere to it. It has this level of stress. Uh, this might be our last room, but we might have to go right to the end. Time to eat again? All right. I mean, all I have to say is I, I really enjoy Darkest Dungeon, even when, even when things are going very poorly. I do enjoy it. Let's pull this guy up to the front now that we've uh, messed him up because he won't be able to fire his powerful coral from the, if he's, he'll have to use bayonet jab, which is weaker. Plus that's just, really cool. And now we are going to wait on breakthrough until people have been damaged down a little bit more because it will reduce our overall damage. If we can reduce uh, bone defender, if we can get everyone down to a level where it's likely that we can take them out in one strike, 
breakthrough will be a lot more useful. Man, a jab. And we dodged it. These things are going well. Bump and I dodge that. No, of course not. But we can use smite. And, and if we... Okay. If we roll big damage, we can kill this defender. So, not quite. But he's now within range of a break. And we dodged that as well. Come on, get the dodge. No. Alright. You're at five, you're at three, you're at eight. So we need to throw a dagger at this guy. And now our barbarian should be able to kill everyone in one blow again. Let's so let's do healing. Who's uh, 12, 24, 12 of 20, 12 of 26. So overall we're lower and uh, we have the ability to heal a bleed with the barbarian if we if we get the bleed. So three points and bleed. Shit. All right. So those three points are going to disappear over time. Let's just do breakthrough and kill everyone. <laughs> or we could do breakthrough, miss everyone, and take a bleed and debuff, and everything is bad. So sometimes everything goes amazingly, sometimes everything doesn't go amazingly. Can you hit more than one person at once? You can't. Kill the bone defender. Dodge. Didn't. Didn't dodge. Alright. Try again. One! What the nuts. Throw that dagger and take him out. And we have this, just this Arbalist left in the front row, which is the worst place for him to be, and he's dead. So dead. Like, oh, and he's dead. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. I like the fact that we've been acquiring deeds, because this isn't... Uh, we don't get deeds as a quest... Can't start to float. Yeah, you're gonna have to bleed a little bit. Let's put some holy water on this, f on this funny thing. And we've got some favor from the gods. Uh, damage up. One more holy water. So taking holy water uh, was definitely the right choice. And then we, and then we acquired a couple. So spiders. So we're gonna have to deal with more plague. Let's weaken one of these. They bite, they spit. Let's weaken one of the front row guys with our weakening curse. And we're going to use flashing daggers. A mm, critical hit would kill these guys. No critical hit, but we did reduce a lot of health. And did you get the blight? You did get the blight. Small blight, but still blighted and stunned and marked. Holy crap, All right? They don't like this occultist. You know what? Three to five, three to five, three to five. We're gonna do it. Four, four, four. So one lived, but we killed two, and I think that was worth it for us. Let's take out this one. Okay. Let's take out this one. He's living one. And we don't have iron swans, so we'll have to take out that row. <laughs> so blow. much damage. I will feast on your heart! Really? I don't think you're gonna feast on any spider's heart. That'd be disgusting. You're my favorite person. So don't wreck it. As life Whoa. ebbs. Terrible vistas of emptiness reveal themselves. That wasn't the deal he struck. I just... Uh, wow. That came out of nowhere. And he's our only healer. Oh no! I can heal him for one. Get him off that store. Reduce his stress a little bit. Alright, we'll keep him... We'll keep him right off that store. Like that. And... Uh, I guess I'll hack at these corpses to move this up. breadth from becoming unwound yeah, skin burns all right so hopefully we can reconstruct our ourselves 
because we need it. Seven points and a bleed. So we're gonna take two damage. We have four pending damage, but we did get we did get a little bit of healing off at that store there. So well struck. And we've got a critical hit. A dagger right through the eyeball. Finding the stuff is only the first Light test. Charm. Light resistance. How it uh, must be carried home. Dodge goes down. Let's put the light resistance on this guy. And, and oh, we're in a room right now, so we do have to go to the last room. We do have to fight one more battle. Kind of go figure. And let's Yarg! Let's purify this. He now has a up damage buff. Probably should have given that to the, the Hellion. Here, stick your head in that Iron Maiden. The herbs cleanse the Maiden, allowing a thorough search. Hey, that that uh, that works pretty well. So, st starting to learn so much blood. We're gonna do all right. It's super dark. Guess what? We've got lots of torches. In this our last one. So we're starting to learn how to use our items. And look, we got a treasure chest here, so we'll get a little bit more goodies. Tempty goblet. Oh Injury God. and despondence. Come on. Set the stage for heroism. They're doing a lot of damage or with these, cowardice. these goblets. Let's start out with flashing daggers and, and damage both the guys in the middle. And you. Oh, he didn't want to move, but we took half his health, so that's not nothing. Axe blade in the front. We're gonna we're gonna pit him against our smiting crusader. And you use this. Try to stun them. Yeah, it worked. Who can we take out? With a pick to the face, maximum damage will kill him, but let's use a thrown dagger. Good chance to kill this guy in the back. And reduce our threats. We'll take one goblet this turn. These guys are stunned, so we don't have to worry about that. He's almost to stress level. Um, but we're almost out of here, so healing won't be a problem. Let's use... Let's use a hex. This reduces his dodge and marks him. We'll have to take the occultist and the, uh, since he applies marks, we'll have to take the occultist along with dead. Along with the bounty hunter. That would be a good synergy right there. He's not as good at dodging anymore, but... Grave digger, throw your dagger and kill him. You didn't kill him. I really, I hoped you would. So we're going to have to use Demon's Pull to kill him now. We dodged. Because uh, we have to smite one of these corpses. We can't get there from here. Let's do that instead. There we go. Critical hit. Yes, it stung. All right. Open the box. Get the treasure. Go home. Glittering Place. gold. Critical stone. trinkets and baubles. Up critical down speed. Paid for in blood. Who gets up critical down speed? Her. I like, I like her critical hits. Take it out. Quest complete. Continue adventuring so that we can open this box. Chest. We have no. Uh, we could use the shovel on it. Uh, open the chest. Contents are ours. A disease charm. Uh, resist disease but reduces your maximum hit points and two busts. So now we go back to the Hamlet. More bones return to rest. And Devils remanded to their abyss. And we're going to give this to our crusader. He can get a little bit more stressed, but his uh, heal, healing skill will be up. So we should give him a healing skill 
give this to someone with a healing skill. I guess that'll be our other one. So we're now all level ones. Are we all level zeros? Me. Uh, we have a stress resist, uh, stress versus humans, but we're better in the light. Syphilis! Come on, what were you doing down in the dungeon that gave you syphilis? Necromania fascinated with corpses. And you has the the ague, Drolin. Which reduces his damage, his speed, and his max HP. So these diseases, pretty brutal, syphilis. So we got a win here, maybe we unlocked a new building. In truth, I cannot tell how much time has passed since I sent that letter. Ellard is no longer paranoid, but he is now reliant on spirits and, <laughs> uh oh, Morpheus has become one with pain and refuses to stop flagellating yet. So, um, no longer, no longer selfish, re reduced the stress, but he's going to spend, he's, he's not done. And, uh, Reynold is now God-fearing again he was already uh he was already god fearing that's why he was praying in the first place um we cured vertigo uh we cured tipler you're an apprentice grave robber you're an apprentice cultist you're an apprentice hellion and you're an apprentice crusader so yeah they were all level zero we did not unlock any new buildings though so yeah uh your accuracy's down because of rabies all right, let's do a little base management, and then we'll uh, call it an episode for the night. So let's see who who's coming to town. New bounty hunter, Vestal. We have another man at arms, so we definitely want to replace our, our lost man at arms. I do like them well. This guy has Bellow and Bolster, which the other one also had. So we'll uh, Pinel. We'll hire him. The raw strength of youth may be spent, but his eyes hold the secrets of a hundred campaigns. That's right, so we have another Arbalist, which could be good. Blind fire, random target. Huh. And... Bounty hunter. Mark for death, collect bounty, come hither, and uppercut. I do like bounty hunters. This and this is a front row bounty hunter, uh, Eldritch Hater. We should get this, recruit this bounty hunter. We have two plague doctors already, I believe. Or did one of them die? No, we have Banyard and Morphew. So yes, we do. Uh, we could get another Vestal uh, with the uh, the same sort of skills. Do we have two? Have we lost one? We have. Dense and we must have lost one. No, I th think we'll take the second bounty hunter and leave our last slot open. The thrill of the hunt, the promise of payment. I'd like to be able to start upgrading. What do we need to upgrade our blacksmith? More deeds, many more deeds. So we're gonna need, we're gonna need deeds uh, in order to start upgrading armor, which would be great. Armor and weapons, and you know, uh, eventually we can start uh, upgrading some skills as well. So we're gonna need portraits before we can do that. Get people's skills up. And the sanitarium, uh, in order to increase the slots, the cells in the medical ward, we need 24 busts, and we don't have nearly enough. And, uh, <laughs> we could upgrade the penance hall, or the transept, or the cloister. So we could spend some some time upgrading those let's consider uh, so let's consider whose disease we're going to treat 
somebody, you have no disease. Who does have disease? Lethargy and rabies, not good. Okay, you have the Black Plague. That's what needs to be dealt with. Let's see, we can, uh, we can reduce the treatment of disease, so let's reduce the treatment cost of disease. The front line of this war is not in the dungeon, but this rather chance of curing extra inside diseases. the mind. Let's do that, uh, because if we have a chance to maybe cure two, that would be great, because a lot of our people do have two. Uh, we'll spend our busts on that. So, feels healthier already. Good. Because you've got the Black Plague, man. You're you're not you're not well. You're not well at all. All right. Who needs uh, quirk treatment? God-fearing kleptomaniac. Curious, known cheat, zoophobia, bloodthirsty, obsessed with food, stress resist, slow draw, minus four speed, that's frustrating, flagellant, we can deal with that, tuckered out, damage is down if he's, because he's old, he's clumsy, clumsy is bad, uh, we did just hire this guy, and we might immediately deal with clumsy, or tuckered out. Uh, gambler, we can deal with. These are all really expensive now because they're permanent. Slow draw. So speed is negative four. Uh, uh, egomania, <laughs> obsessed with self-worship. That's all right. You're awesome. Uh, obsessed with cleanliness and a stress resist versus human. So let's uh, let's help her out so that she doesn't, and ruins tactician, so up damage in the ruins. We're gonna take her to the ruins again. Let's help her out so that she doesn't, uh, she's not afraid of humans. Yeah, you don't wanna know. All right, so now we need to do a little stress redu reduction our bread eater here definitely needs to reduce the stress, so you can go to the gambling hall. That usually goes all right. And uh, you need to reduce your stress. It's still high. It's still 50. You have two diseases. So much crap. Everything is speed down lethargy, speed down slow draw speed down slow reflexes speed down uh when the torch is is slow you're the slowest the slowest person i can even deal with all right but your accuracy is down because of your rabies so that's a problem we're gonna have to deal with rabies for now why don't you drink let's oh uh, we don't have the portraits And you, why don't you go to the abbey and meditate? We don't have the busts. So this is full. We could fit one more. We could send someone to the brothel if they need it, but it doesn't look like anyone is stressed out enough to really, well, what's her stress level? It's 50, it's half, all right, go ahead. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> this may sound like a strange request at first. No. I doubt it, I doubt it indeed. All right, so there's everyone, everyone uh, doing their thing, getting de-stressed, getting healed getting beaten and we completed a quest we won we got some stuff and we upgraded our house so thank you for watching this video if you have watched it all the way to the end here thank you very much and go ahead and subscribe to the channel i will be playing darkest dungeon for a while now i'd like to beat some of these bosses who i've never actually encountered before so 
uh, continue to watch and I'll continue to play. So, cheers. Thanks for watching.